Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the fifth episode of my Southampton series here in Football Manager 2016. Uh, you join me today for the, I believe it's our fourth Europa, Europa League, there we go, Europa League match uh, in the group stage against Ruben Kazan. We'll also take on Aston Villa at home in the Premier League. Uh, currently sitting at sixth in the table, um, despite having a goal difference of two, I don't know, it kind of makes sense because we have six draws. We've only lost one game still, definitely the uh, lowest loss total in the league so far, and there's quite a bit of parity in the league if you look at these point totals. Everything's, uh, it's, we're about a quarter, almost a quarter of the way through the season, and things are still very close, uh, up near the top, so we're in position to do pretty good things. So let's take a look at the results since we last met, which was the Club Bruges and Man United game, uh, scraping that Man United draw at home. Uh, we then got thrashed by Arsenal, our first loss of the Premier League campaign. Um, Sanchez, basically, well, what happened was they just dominated us on the right side. Bellerin was very, very, very dangerous, um... And basically, just the right side fell apart, they would cross the ball over, and then Sanchez would score, and that was the story of my game, and it was very painful. Obviously, they got a quick hit around the bat at scoring in the second and fourth minutes, and then the 20th. We did manage to find a goal back uh, from Sisto, and it looked like the second half was going to maybe go a bit better, but then Giroud grabbed a fourth, and then we kind of stalled out a lot. Bertrand had a very poor game. He's just not been good, not been great in general, if I'm honest, and uh, it's really holding us back, but... We could deal with that in a second as I hear an airplane going by or something. That was weird. I thought it was a lawnmower outside my house. And I was like, why would there be a lawnmower there? And Anyway, we then beat Ruben uh, away 4-1 in the Europa League. Uh, comfortable win. Four different goal scorers, uh, all contributing. Target getting his first senior goal for the club, which is always nice to see. And Mayer also got his first senior goal for the club coming off the bench. We then beat Liverpool 2-0 at home. And this was a great game for us. Um, Juan Mee grabbing two goals against the Scouts. And... Uh, this is the sort of match we really do need to be winning if we want to contend for these uh, European positions. And uh, I don't know, it was just an all-around good performance, and Wanmi capitalized, putting two in the back of the net. We then played a pretty junky game against uh, Newcastle. Uh, they scored early and were definitely having the better of things before Teoda got sent off for a challenge to the back of somebody. Um, but even after he got sent off, we still really weren't playing that great, if I'm honest, and Bertrand, once again, having not the best of games, and Perez, his second goal was very frustrating, but I have to say that if I was on their team, I'd be very frustrated by the uh, second goal that Zach Clough scored, and I actually want to show this. Um, Clough came back off, back from his loan, scored two goals, and I've sent him off again, but this is the goal. Uh, Tim Kroll is like, I'm going to drop the ball here. Zach Clough's like, I'm going to close you down, and apparently, that's a goal. Um, it's happened to me quite a few times, but I've never seen one work quite like that, but Typically, the attacker is going to leave the goalkeeper alone there, especially because he's a deep-lying forward, not like a defensive forward or something. I was surprised he went to close him down, and Kroll uh, paid for his uh, his greed, I guess, and uh, basically scraped us the draw. Or Well, Perez scored later on in a counter-attacking goal that scraped them the draw, I suppose, but um, I don't know. It, considering how poor we were playing, I, I kind of take the draw away from home against Newcastle, who have some very talented players, and Perez had a very good day. So... We go into this match against Ruben Kazan. We are comfortably at the top of our group. In fact, I think if we win this, we guarantee um, moving on from the group. I mean, we've just dominated this group. There's really no doubt about that. And we were pretty much, I don't know, I, I would say we were favored from the start or should have been, uh, potentially. So we'll rotate heavily once again. Uh, Ruff, I actually played him in the last Premier League game, but he'll get a go today. And we'll do pretty much the uh, full rotation. Um, actually, we'll even let Mare play today. And him and Cocker can play at the back. Bertrand has just not been great, but maybe if Target plays well in this game, he might become the. Uh, he might actually start a few games because Bertrand just has not been good at all. Um, Steven Davis as the roaming playmaker, maybe. Uh, we'll play Ward Prowse and Davis today, and then we will do probably Cook Classy uh, in the other game. We will let uh, Angenda start today up top as the deep line forward, and um, let's see, I guess Sisto can start, Jay Rodriguez can start, this is a pretty full rotation, and I think that should be good, as far as the bench is concerned, Classy can be on the bench, um, actually we don't need Wanyama and Classy, so we'll bring Lewis Cook in, and that looks pretty darn good to me, so... 
let's go ahead and uh, really secure first place in the group as our own. Hopefully avoid some of the tougher teams in the uh, in the draw for the knockout stages. So, 4 4 2 given me some problems recently. Uh, that's what Newcastle played against me, and it worked decently well, even with the guy getting sent off. I just had problems with two up front, I think, in general. Um, so let's see if we can change that today. Um, push a bit higher up, because we are at home. I've had some um, good luck with shorter passing. Attacking shorter passing has been good, but I'm going to go with standard shorter passing still today. Uh, and all this stuff on, it, it's worked out quite nicely. And let's see if it works again. We've had some really good passing plays in recent weeks. Like the game against Liverpool, we were just... We dominated them. It was amazing how we were passing it around the box and just holding it out here without me even being on control. It was just... Just moving it around, and it worked very, very nicely. So throwing deep in their own half for Ruben. Can they manage to find a way to play out of defense? Uh, War Pros intercepts or kind of does, and uh, might be on the run here. Portnyagin into Blatnadov, or Bl did I actually say that right? Blyaletnadov, all right. Well, Angenda might be through here. No, plays back to the keeper, and they might be able to counterattack here from a nice counterattacking play from the Ruben Kazan goalkeeper. And they are on the move here, Shadarpov. Dribbling inside. Cut out by Calker, who intercepts nicely. Angenda unable to win the ball back, and it's a ball over the top to Portnigan. Calker unable to make the challenge, and well, Portnigan have scored, or has scored, for Ruben. And they are just uh, playing counterattack, and it seems to be working. It seems to be working, and that's not good. If they're going to lump balls over the top like that, let's try an offside trap, and we'll close down a bit less. Um... No one really at fault for that goal, but um, Kazan's just playing uh, pretty darn well. I'd like to get at least a draw here. A win, obviously, secures the group for us pretty much. So I'd like that. We are on top in the game, but as far as shots are concerned, but we're not scoring. They have to go attacking in the second half to make a difference here. Um, where is your passion? Kind of worked. Um, Rodriguez has been poor. Rodriguez and Dusan have both been kind of poor, so let's try changing this up a little bit. We're going to go with a uh, winger out here instead of an inside forward with uh, Dusan Tadic. Target not playing well. My left fullback's just not at the races today. Let's push these full wing backs forward just a little bit, and uh, we will go attacking with shorter passing. Uh, we'll pull the line back a bit. We'll, we'll stick slightly higher. And uh, go balance width wise. See what we can do. Camarasa on a yellow. Hopefully he can uh, avoid getting himself sent off or suspended because I do want to continue to play him in these games. I'm going to look for a loan deal for either Camarasa or Romeu in the uh, January window. Oh, trying to get the ball across the Sisto. And you've had some uh, success in those backstick runs, but Tadic. Crossing it a bit too low for Ryazikov to uh, really have to worry about it. And now they're on the move here again. The keeper's just lobbing balls down the middle and it's working out for them. Warpraus now. Plays ball over the top to Angenda and he's found him. Can Angenda use his pace? No, he can't. Giving away Kirkavelia making a decent tackle. And what the hell was that from, I believe, Mare is number five. And that was just a... He, he is... Fairly short for a center back, and he just missed the header. He has a decent stat on heading, but just missed time to jump terribly, it looked like. Sisto having a poor game now as well. Um, I guess we're bringing on the other winger as well. We'll bring Mane as more of an attacker. And we'll bring Tadic speed inside forward again. He's done okay on the left-hand side, but let's uh, mix that up just slightly. So... I mean, it's not a huge deal if we lose this game, but I'd, it just looks bad. I'd rather not do it. We win more money, or we get money if we uh, win, and it's like a cool 200-something thousand pounds. We are just uh, not doing it right now. And Ruben, are, they look a lot better in this game than they did previously, that's for sure. I think this counterattacking style has suited them. 
But just we're sitting here in this like this group of four players just not doing anything useful, and that's a goal for them easily. Like, what are we doing? I don't understand. They've only had three shots, but they've scored two of them. <laughs> I don't really... Two up front just seems to wreck me every time, and I'm not sure why. Or Press is tired, I'll take him off. Um, let Lewis Cook get some more minutes in, and uh, well, it looks like we're going to lose this one. Uh, well, unless Matthew Target has anything to say about it. Tadic across to Martina. What will he do with the ball? Plays a decent ball inside. Tadic not collects. Can he finish? No, he can't. That's a chance he needs to put in the back of the net, and he just hasn't. We've had plenty of shots and a clear-cut chance, but we just haven't scored, and... That's a problem we've had to an extent all season. We create an awful lot of chances, but we need to do we do need to improve our finishing quality. Do we get another chance here or there? No, we don't. I was cock blocked by the game. And Calker and Mare just not playing well at the back, and I think that cost us today. But uh yeah, we will lose to Ruben Kazan at home. That is quite embarrassing. If I Yeah, it's not great. Um That was disgusting. They agree. Both could come back and secure a win against Aston Villa in the league. Um. You must feel robbed. Um. Yeah, it's our fault. Can't afford to take anything for granted. It was good. Okay. Well, we just need to grab a win somewhere along the line, and we're pretty much set in the uh, group. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but obviously not great. So let's get through to this Aston Villa game. Oh, man. Yeah, and losing that 200,000 pounds does hurt quite a bit, actually. Because we could use that kind of money. But if we qualify from the group, we'll get quite a bit of change as well. So it should be okay. Aston Villa are... Rock bottom in the league. And I might take the chance to go for a more attacking style formation and give uh, Ward Prowse a chance in attacking midfield. Because um, I have been working on that, and it worked actually okay running it as a counter tactic as well, even though I do like having that defensive midfielder back there. Um, it has worked quite nicely. We have... Uh, oh, Classy's been brought up. Do I want him to be limited minutes? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Well, maybe I should just play my normal tactic, though. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, come on, computer. You're not even streaming. You can you can handle this. Simming all these games, it's getting destroyed. My processor is pathetic. Okay, let's just get to this game. Come on. Let's, let's get there. Oh, man. I hope we don't um, lose this game as well. If we win this game, we're in pretty darn good shape in the league going into this last international break before... I think last international break before the Christmas period. Um, let's see. Uh, that's all fine and dandy. Let's just get to this game. Looks like a narrow diamond for them. And when I, I guess a narrow diamond, I prefer this formation, I, I think. Um, this lets us attack the wings a bit better. Uh, and if they do play like that, I will probably make Rodriguez, or sorry, Tadic on the left-hand side a winger. Um, bring in Wanmi, who's been our best attacking threat this season, I would say, at striker, uh, as a Trek Artista. Jordi Classy and uh, Lewis Cook will make our, make up our midfield. They have been the best combination, I would say, in that area. Sadio, Sadio Mane will come in as well. Uh, Wanyama and Romeo can be on the bench today, give him a bit of a chance off the bench perhaps uh, he's still quite upset with uh, his situation Cedric Font and Van Dyke come back in and Stecklenburg as well in goal I really need to put uh, Jorge Mare on some Mare on some HGH or something to get him taller but uh, uh what can you do so that does like the look like the team we want to use um Let's see. Um, let's turn play, off, play out of defense off. And let's give this tactic a bit of a dry run against the 
this team. So they have gone with the narrow formation. Uh, hopefully our midfield can contend with theirs and we can play it out wide and maybe exploit the flanks a bit. Um, in fact, I might turn on look for overlap on because I don't know who's going to cover our fullbacks if I do that. Um, let's see. Assertive. Without any problem at all. Um, control the midfield. No. I have faith in you. Oh, I clicked the wrong button, so that's fine. Um, let's look for overlap and try to exploit the fact that they don't have wingers to uh, mark our fullbacks. And uh, see what we can do. Virgil grabbing the ball quite nicely there, and that's that's what I like to see him do. Oh, Sadio Mane has gone out for with a, taking a knock instantly. He's got a gashed head. Uh, he's going to play the half out before I put Sisto on, I think. Just a little gashed head. He'll be fine. We're definitely in control of the game, but can we uh, score a goal? Might be a yes here. Bertrand into Classy. Can he play it into the middle? No. Bertrand now. Classy. Maybe look for Lewis Cook in the middle. No. Finds Tadich. Well, doesn't quite find him. Now they might be on the break, actually. Jordan Ayew. And they've got plenty of pace to spare if they want to just play, lump a ball forward and have one of their men chase it. But they're playing, uh, playing out pretty conservatively, actually, and it seems to be working. And, well, Ayew, what is he in that space for? Font's got to do better closing that down or marking his man. Classy on the chase. Wins it from Westwood nicely. Tadich. Can we break? Maybe lump it over the top to Juan Mi. Decent looking ball, unable to quite get there. But, uh, uh Font, you've got to cut that out. Come on. Uh, that's a waste of a, a tackle attempt by Classy there. Bon Lahorth puts the ball in, and that's just terrible marking from Cedric. What is he doing? What is he doing? I don't understand how my fullbacks just decided to just stop playing the freaking game. I don't, they just don't play defense. What is he doing? See, he's on him. He's like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to defend him. I'm going over here now. What? Where is he going? I don't understand. Like he's on him. Just uh. chance here, maybe for us. Font cuts it out. Up to Mane. Can he find a ball? Classy in, over top to Tadic, who manages to convert. I'm not sure what the goalkeeper is doing, not coming out to get that. Grad, Grad, Grad Buzan. Brad Guzan makes a bit of a mistake there, and somehow lets that in Tadic. Manages to finish. Did I say 11 games without success? They probably should have been called offsides. It looked like Wami maybe even tried to play that, but uh, yeah, Guzan's got to do a bit bad there, but Tadic does well to be on the end of that kind of hopeful ball in. All right, Mane is going to have to come off, unfortunately, for Sisto. Uh, he's had a decent game, but is a bit tired. The defense is just not doing it. Um... We're going to make some tactical changes at the back. We're going to make Van Dyke a stopper because he likes the role. We're going to make Font cover, even though he doesn't really want to do it necessarily. Um, we'll see what that can do. I'm going to make these fullbacks automatic for whatever reason. I'm not really sure. I'm just trying to tweak this to make things more useful. Let's see if we can go out in the second half and secure a win here. We are playing the team at the bottom of the table at home. And this one on a junky goal that just Bertrand just, or sorry, Cedric just stopped playing defense for some reason. Our two players are running into each other, but Font does well to cover that and win the ball back for us. Sisto now on the ball. Probably going to lose it and end the first highlight here, but no, Lewis Cook now. Wiped out by Gwey, and that's a red card. Send him out. Oh, another. Still the highlight continues. Sisto with the ball into the area. Classy looks off sides, but it's not a down to Amavi, but can sit. No, he can't. Never mind. Seem to be all over them. I want to go attacking because I really want to win this game. Um, uh, let's see what we can do. All right. Corner kick. Tadich into the area. Wunyama heads it home. First goal of the season for the Kenyan. I will accept that. He's a big man. You figure he can get on the end of some of those crosses, uh, or corner kicks, uh, supposedly. He's just a massive man. He has the strength to muscle about anyone off the ball with his 20 strength. 
Corner kick for them now, though, because of course we're going to throw the lead away immediately. Lewis Cook, can he manage to get there to close down Westwood? Uh, wins the ball back, and now a chance to break, perhaps. Cook, on the run, dribbling himself. Isn't the best dribbler in the world, but manages to find Wami with a pass hatch, maybe down the wing here to Bertrand. Finds him nicely. Can we play a ball in the area? Over towards Classy. Sisto now. Can he beat his man? Tries to get him past him to the byline. Gets a ball in. Lescott clears only as far as Cook. Classy now finishes. First time from Cook's nod down. And it's for Classy's first goal for the club as well. Uh, two defensive minded midfielders scoring in this game for us. Uh, Winyama and Jordy Classy. And Cook does well to just nod that down to Classy. And it's a first time half volley. Perfect finish from that location. All right, probably cool down the attacking style now. Turning on the offside trap seems to have turned off their offense almost completely, which is what I like to see. Um, any other changes I would like to make? Cook is getting quite tired, but he is playing like a monster again. A 9.0 rating for him, but he is very tired. Um, I'm going to leave him in and bring in Jay Rodriguez for Tadic, who's also had a good game. A goal and an assist for him. But, um... Going to give him a bit of a break. Give Jay Rodriguez some more minutes on the left-hand side as the inside forward. Let's see if we can just see this game out. I'm getting a convincing 3-1 win. Well, not terribly convincing, but their chance was... Their goal should never have happened if our team played defense for more than two seconds. But, um... Now, what can you do? I'm going to bring Romeo in just because he's going to whine about minutes. Otherwise, he can be a central midfielder support. Help us see the game out. Oh, classy gets a pulled hamstring, so he's probably going to be out for quite some time with that sort of injury. I'm just going to take him off, actually, so he doesn't make it any worse in the last couple of minutes here. But that's likely classy out for three to four weeks if it's a properly pulled hamstring. Ball in the area should be the last. Oh, Cedric's offsides, and that will be the end of the game here. And there it goes. So a 3-1 win, bouncing back from our Europa League defeat midweek to get a probably more important win in the league. Uh, to say it's a good win, and we'll move on. Let's see how bad Classy's injury is. Pulled hamstring doesn't sound good. Lewis Cook, man of the match once again. Just running the midfield. Classy out three to four weeks. Uh, we do have an international break, so it's not too bad. Um... Sadio Mane will have to, to uh, go see the physio as well. So not the worst time. And we do have we have a lot of depth on the team because we have plenty of defend, uh, midfielders who are more than capable of stepping into pretty much any role, if I'm honest. Um, yeah. Um, I'll say nice things about a Frenchman. Um, okay, well, we did what we had to do. So, a loss and a win in the episode, fairly balanced stuff, but Lewis Cook, man, 88% tackle, eighty-eight percent pass completion, 100% tackles, and, I mean, he's just amazing. He's just been ridiculously good for me, and he's only 18, like, oh, God, he's so good. All of his stats are going up, as you would expect, and he's going to turn into an absolute beast for this team going forward, and, well, he already is, so... <laughs> Even with these stats, God, it just he shouldn't be doing as well as he is, but he is. He's amazing, and I love him. I love him so much. Oh, man. God, I love him. Anyway, let's see what we might end up doing down the line as far as games. Um, Potentially do another uh, League Euro Cup. Oh, crap. I clicked on Club Bruges. Another uh, League Cup double and I think I will do that. Maybe uh, Club Bruges and Norwich. Um, and then we get into this terrifying slog of games. I might do a back-to-back -back of... I might do a back-to-back -back for Tottenham and Everton because I think we'll get thrashed by City and Chelsea. But Tottenham and Everton at home are two games we want to win and should win if we want to uh, hold on to a, great, a good place in the table. And I think these two games against uh, European-level competition could be crucial uh, in our campaign. The game against Liverpool was in a similar situation. We won 2-0, so home games against Europa League level teams, we need to beat those teams at home. So, 
We'll see what we can do. Let's take a quick look at the table and see where we stand. Uh, we are currently fifth. Um, Arsenal, despite thrashing me, find, find, them, ah, find themselves below us in the table. Um, and I don't know how that happened because... Actually, I wonder if I could find... Oh, nah. There's no way I could find that email. But they had the top three players in Player of the Month uh, in the last month. And it was Sanchez, Bellerin, and Ozil. And they all had over 8.0 ratings. And it was actually insane uh, how good their players were, were playing. Uh, so, it's a bit tough running into that one. But, uh, yeah. So, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, please do leave a like and or subscribe. Uh, check out my stream at twitch.tv slash Don Horatio, and I hope to see you there or be back here for the next video. Once again, thank you all for watching, and adios, compadres.